Former Department of Human Services Executive Jason McNamara gave evidence in December and today his name cropped up in minutes of a meeting with PricewaterhouseCoopers. And he said also to do with government announcing measures and only caring about the money. They have to set this up and save $8 billion in fiscal terms and the government doesn't care about what they do with compliance to achieve it. The meeting was in March 2017. PwC had been hired to review robo-debt following public outrage. Other than the department doing something politically silly, they don't care. The firm drafted a 70-page report that found the scheme was deeply flawed. The inquiry heard that shortly before it was due, the department told PwC the report was no longer needed and a presentation given to the then Human Services Minister, Alan Tudge, would suffice. Surely you must, as the lead on the project, have gone back to Catherine Campbell and said, you've paid for the report, we've done the work, why don't you want it? No, we didn't. PwC partner Shane West could not recall how they were told. Well, it seems a very laissez-faire approach to um, carrying out a contract. Does PwC usually just rely on a word that's not documented anyway? Uh, I, I, I can't speak for the firm at large. The commissioner pressed Mr West. One possible view is that there's been some sort of a nod and a wink and a don't give us a thanks somewhere along the line, Mr West. You can see how a cynic I, I might wonder about that. I, I can, and I, like, I cannot recall ever being provided such a nod and a wink. The inquiry heard PwC proposed an implementation strategy projected to recoup even more money from welfare recipients and that the firm's review of robo-debt led to years of work for the company, $12 million worth of contracts. Public hearings resume on the 20th of February. Alexander Lewis, ABC News.